In this video, Tim Tobin of Swallow Hill Farm in Caroline County, Virginia, discusses his use of summer multi-species cover crop mixes in his grazing system to benefit his herd and to build soil quality. Swallow Hill Farm is a 142-acre farm, and uh, fortunately for us, wanting to graze beef cattle, most of that acreage is open. Obviously, this is not your typical pasture. What are we doing right here? This is an interesting transition that we've made this year. On the advice of the Soil and Water Conservation District, we have um, applied cover crops. After the last cash crop, crop came over here, we put a seven-species cover crop on this piece. And the idea is to create a, um, a volume of fresh forage for our cattle, but also to position this field for conversion into pasture. Um, portions of this field will become perennial pasture, and the other fields over that way we, we expect to keep as annual crops. We were so impressed by the growth of the annual crops this year and, and love to see the smiles on our cattle when they dive into this stuff. They love it so much it's bound to be a tremendous benefit to us. It takes a little bit more time from the planting and planting stages, um, but again, we're very impressed with the, the, the tons of biomass that we've been able to produce on this farm with the summer annuals. That was the next question I was going to ask you, is how, how has the production compared to just typical pasture grasses? What we have here is a combination of fescue and Bermuda grass. It's all kind of mixed in. Uh, there's also some other little unknown grass that doesn't produce very well. Um, this time of year in particular, uh, most of our fields go dormant and the cattle are kind of nibbling around the edges and some, sometimes we even start feeding them hay this time of year. So we've totally um, avoided the hay so far. Um, now we have had a very beneficial spring, a very beneficial summer in that we've had um, sporadic rains throughout the period. Uh, but again, the volume that we've been able to grow here has enabled us to graze the cattle in here and take the pressure off of our fescue pastures. And the goal with that is to allow those fescue pastures to stockpile up and, um, and as it gets cooler and uh, starts to frost that grass, we'll be able to come back in and, and strip graze our cattle through our near, nearly 60 acres of fescue pasture. On this side, we're going to do a self-made kind of a cover, cover crop mix, a lot with barley and uh, clover and some things like that. And the more steep property just over behind us over the next fence we will start with an alfalfa uh, fescue mix okay. so that we can turn that at least start with turning that into a perennial pasture and see how that performs relative to the cover crops that we put in it sounds like you're liking the summer cover crops do you plan to have a continuing role with them in your operation no jim it's it's been quite a surprise to me and I, i'm not sure if this is fully representative of multi years worth of cover crops, you know, how it would perform on average because I think we have received a lot of rain. But I'm certainly willing to give cover crops a, a, a strong part in our farm, at least for the next couple of years, to see how well it performs. As I mentioned, I'll do a little bit in perennial pasture. We were going to turn 25 acres of this into perennial, perennial pasture. Now we've decided to turn only 10 acres of it into that pasture because I really have enjoyed the cover crops. They're, um, they're fun to fun to plant, fun to watch grow, um, fun to see the cattle eat. Um, they're, they're a little bit more expensive than the, a, a standing perennial field, but again, the, uh, the volume that we create by growing these cover crops is just unbelievable. Well, not to mention the amount of volume that we're actually transferring into the soil and, and the benefits for the soil microbia and such as that. It's a, it's a tremendous thing. I agree.